Another evening alone, wondering when Jack would get home from work. Julie flipped through the TV channels, disinterested and discouraged. She picked up her novel, but couldn't concentrate. The words swam before her watery eyes. What was going on between them? As Julie got ready for bed, she argued with the fears assaulting her mind. Surely things weren't as bad as she thought they were, but she couldn't help the, the wondering that came into her mind. Later that night, Julie woke to Jack slipping between the sheets. Desperately, she wanted to touch him, but felt him turn his back toward her. Silent tears streamed while she prayed for godly insight into their stumbling relationship. After Jack left for work with a perfunctory kiss on her cheek, Julie decided she needed to talk with Jack about their relationship. Something wasn't right between them. Well, when you find yourself in Julie's situation, what are some questions you can ask to help your relationship? Well, here's the first one. What was the best part of your day? Show your husband you want to celebrate his wins in his day. Congratulate him when it's appropriate and make this one fun. Two, what gave you a challenge today? Invite him to share his struggles with you. This type of question allows you to hear his heart, but be careful. Don't try to fix his challenges. Listen for what he doesn't tell you. Then find ways to express empathy and encouragement. Number three, how could I pray for you specifically? If appropriate, pray for him right then, but don't preach your prayer. You know what I mean. Use your words to elevate him to God for the answers he needs. Then you get to intercede on his behalf daily and watch God answer. Number four, how are we doing? This open-ended and non-accusatory question allows you to open the door for him to explain things to you. And now it's your turn to be quiet. Allow your husband to answer any way he chooses. As you actively listen, follow up on his response with questions that invite further insight, further dialogue. Number five, what specific things can we do to improve our relationship? The focus of this question is on improvement, not conflict. Talk with each other about your relationship and use a maybe a one to 10 rating scale. Listen carefully to discover what your husband feels isn't really good in your relationship. You might be surprised. Chances are you will rate your relationship differently, but don't be discouraged by that. You have an opportunity to work together to make a change. Number six, if you really feel like you're at an impasse, this is a good question to ask. Would you be open to meeting with a marriage counselor or pastor? Ask this one if you sense you're stuck. As simply as possible, tell your husband why you think this might be a good idea without pointing a finger at him. Own your stuff. He'll need to own his as well. Every marriage struggles at times. Be prepared with a few counselors you think might be good. Present them to your husband as options and then see what he has to say. When Dave and I began our recovery journey, our counselor mandated questions like these as part of our daily routine. What started out as, as a have to became a time we both enjoyed. Today, we still ask that fourth question frequently, how are we doing? Life tends to get busy and we get relationally lazy. That's part of being human. Well, learning to pray with and for each other every day also impacts our sense of relational connection. While our children were young, we held hands during dinner prayers. Well, my main motivation was to keep our children from playing with anything on the table. However, a surprising relational benefit came from holding hands. You learn to sense what's happening with the other person as you're holding their hands. Well, how would you rate your marriage relationship on a scale of one to 10? Grab your journal and write out your answer and explain why you gave it that rating. Then, when you have some time with your husband where it's quiet and uninterrupted, maybe go and ask some of those questions. You don't have to do all of them, but ask a few. Every relationship needs a spot check now and then. These questions give you a springboard to discuss what's good and what needs to improve. Perhaps, like Julia, you see some distancing and want to reconnect before things get worse. Or maybe you want to get to know your spouse better, but would love a list of fun questions to ask on a date night or an evening at home. I'm going to put a link to a list that I found in the notes below. I hope that you find those questions fun. If you're really stuck and don't know what to do, 
and not even sure these questions might help, right at the top of this page is a button to schedule a free consultation. Please click that. I'd love to talk with you and help you brainstorm ideas on how to move forward.